Welcome to Site Scout RTB. This video will give you a brief tour of the user interface, quickly showing you how to create your first campaign and showing you how to check your campaign statistics. After watching this video, we recommend that you watch the other videos in the series in order to get a more in-depth understanding of all of the powerful features that Site Scout RTB offers. When you sign into Site Scout RTB for the first time, you will see three tabs near the top. The Campaigns tab, where you control your ad campaigns and access your campaign statistics. The Sites tab, where you can do your media planning by browsing through all of the available website inventory that you can bid on. And the Accounting tab, where you can view the financial activity associated with your account. You will also notice the Tools menu at the top. Here you do things like create a new campaign, create your conversion pixels, or build retargeting lists. Finally, the Options menu is where you can add funds to your account or change your password. If you ever have questions about any aspect of the Site Scout RTB, you may be able to find the answer in our Knowledge Center. If not, click on the support link at the top of the page and a member of our support team will help you out. Let's take a closer look at the Sites tab. Here, you can browse, sort, and filter through the entire inventory available for purchase. The stats that you see are live and show you what is happening today. To get a better idea of the impression volume that is likely available for a full day, you should change the date range to yesterday. Click any of the column headers to sort ascending or descending. The channel drop-down filters the sites according to the category you select. If you filter by country, you will see websites and stats for that particular country only. When you select a site, you can see the available ad sizes that you can bid on, including where on the page your ads will be inserted. The Geo button will show you a breakdown of countries that make up the traffic for any given site. And finally, the Pub Details button will show you what types of ads are blocked on a site. It is important that you review this and ensure your campaign complies with the website publisher's guidelines. If you are unsure, you can ask us by opening a support ticket. To create your ad campaign, Go to the Tools menu and select New Campaign. You start off in the Campaign Basics section. Here, you can name your campaign, input the URL where clicks will be sent, and set a cap on the number of times your ad will be shown in a given time period. You can also set your budget and define a start and end date for the campaign. The next section, Traffic Sources, looks a lot like the Sites tab. Use the sorting and filtering tools to find the sites you are looking for and add them to your campaign. The Creatives section is where you upload all of your banners. If you don't already have banners, you can use our Ad Builder to create them from scratch. Or you can upload an existing banner directly from your computer. In either case, you can save the banner in your own Ad Vault for easy access in future campaigns. On the Geo-Targeting tab, you can select the geographic locations that will see your ads. You can target countries, regions and cities. Use the checkboxes to target or block specific locations. While Site Scout RTB offers many other targeting and control options, only the first four sections are required. We will cover advanced tools such as retargeting, device targeting, and auto optimization in future tutorials. But for now, you can just save your campaign. Once you have created your ad campaign, you can access it in the Campaigns tab. Here, you are able to turn your campaign on or off and change the default bid price. 
Since SiteScout RTB operates on an auction model, you can see how many impressions your campaign has bid on and how many of those impressions your campaign has won. If you are not winning as many as you would like, you should start by increasing your bid price. On this tab, you are also able to view campaign-wide statistics for clicks, conversions, spend and revenue, as well as a number of other data points. On the bottom portion of the Campaign tab, you can see a breakdown of statistics for each site within your campaign. This granular insight really allows you to analyze the performance of your campaign on a low level. With these insights, you have the ability to optimize your campaign by either turning sites offline or changing your bid price on any given site. Double-clicking on any of the sites will open up the Site Details tab. This offers even further insight, as you can now view stats for each ad placement on a site. Again, you have the ability to turn any placement online or offline or refine your bid price. The Creatives tab allows you to see the stats for each banner and control whether a banner is either online or offline. If you want to make changes to your campaign settings, such as adding banners, adding more sites, or changing other targeting options, select your campaign and click the Edit button. We have just shown you how to create a campaign, how to access your campaign statistics, and how to adjust your bid price and take campaigns online or offline. At this point, you should be ready to start your first ad campaign. But remember that you must first deposit funds into your account before your campaign will go live. You can do this by going to the Options menu and clicking Add Funds. If you ever need assistance with your campaigns or with our platform features, you can either visit our Knowledge Center or open a support ticket and our support staff will help you with all of your questions. Also, be sure to watch the other videos in this series which cover many more of SiteScout RTB's powerful features. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial.